Hey guys, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to run you through how we do a nested look of the pivot table. Or in other way, what is a nested field concept within a pivot table? Now, this is just the pivot table we created from the last video. And if you see, we have the data in here where we have the region, the wrap, the item they have sold, number of item and the unique cost and the total cost or the total order value, what we say. So if we come back here and we see what exactly it is, we have the wrap, we have the item listed in the columns which was sold, we have the quantity they have uh, or the amount of the quantity they have sold, it's total, grand total, all done. Now, what is nested now as the name suggested nested is one inside one or maybe you drill down further where you have a main heading then the sub content and you just keep coming down in uh, uh, steps kind of a way right so let's do this way now i would like to see how much a sale each region have done and then respectively if we wanted to see within that region which representative have made the sale now without the concept of the nested field this wouldn't be possible so what we do we take the region and we bring the region down and we bring the region in the row section now if you see i have kept this region just above the row now this is important to understand if the wrap would be above the rows or whichever value is above that value would be shown here at the top or that would be the main header value what we can say so let, let's do this just if i take the wrap at the top and if you see the whole display of have changed which doesn't make really sense right however if we do the wrap at the bottom and the region it really makes good sense that what kind of a sale we have done or which wrap is under where so it genuinely nested where we see the top is the or the main heading is central or the region and below the region we see the wrap and the further values or whichever data we want to represent we can do that now there's a further drill down we can do now let's say i would like to see what kind of uh sale were done and which year so let's say if i do this where i bring in my year or uh, the order date in so if you see the complete things changes and what i'm seeing is the year so in quarter one if you see it shows me the data in january central this guy made a sale in eastern this guy made a sale and the complete data have changed now again because excel is smart enough and it break it down to the quarter label and the month label now we can remove that as well now if you come back here we can do remove fields and then if you see it's the year and it's which year what kind of a sale is done and you can see now this is for the drill down or we can say there is a nested field concept where we have the main heading and below that we keep drilling down to get the desired result now this is really important when we are actually showcasing our data on a minor level or we are showcasing what is it's all about what the data what we want to show important concept good to know and another thing which i would say this is one way of showcasing the hard work or the lower level work which has been completed when we're showcasing our work with the help of excel thanks for watching this video guys